Let's talk biogas. We are here all the way in Karatina, Nyeri County. We listen to your questions, we listen to your conversations on our previous video, and we are here to get you some answers. I am Zola Madaga from Kilimo Focus, where we focus on agriculture. Yes. Karibu Kilimo Focus. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yes. I'm happy. Introduce yourself. Thank you. My name is Samuel Motswandolo, currently working with Biogas International Limited. And uh, I am happy to meet you, Zola, from uh, Kilimo Focus. This is uh, great and we are winning. Thank you so much. So I will leave you guys with Samuel. He will take you through all the biogas processes here at their demo farm in Karatina. And we will be back to answer your questions. Uh, Flex Biogas is uh, born from Biogas International Limited. Biogas International Limited is a company that deals with a lot of inno innovations. And uh, it was registered here in Kenya from the year 2011. After a long research on clean, uh, green cooking energy, and so many innovations. That's when we came uh, to register Biogas International Limited in the year 2011, and we have been into action since then. Uh, from the or in the previous video uh, from Klima Focus, um, we saw the Doom system in action, um, which is kind of which is a bit different with the Flex Biogas system. Uh, the dome system is actually constructed underground uh, using stones, concrete, cement and sand and other materials uh, which has a big difference with the flex biogas system. The flex biogas system is fabricated uh, kind of a balloon and uh, it's actually installed on the surface with uh, a, a greenhouse cover and a shenet which uh, looks very attractive and beautiful once installed in your uh, area. One of the big differences to why I advanced to flex biogas is number one, uh, the doom system you need to have cows, you need to have a big number of livestock that is cows or pigs. But with the flex biogas system you can actually survive and have your biogas doing well in the absence of livestock. You can uh, have the advantage of using uh, poultry droppings, market waste, again weeds as I had mentioned. And uh, the other unique thing is uh, you, the system is installed in a single day. One day installation and then the gas is mature in seven days, which has a big difference with the dome system which is, uh, takes uh, a month uh, to completion and then the gas maturity also uh, takes a period. The flex biogas system has a very big advantage, especially to the pastoral areas, whereby people are forced to move in some um, seasons. So the, you can move with a biogas system actually. And again, there are areas with uh, waterlogged areas whereby the water levels comes up into the surface. Since the flex biogas system is installed in the surface, the ground can be actually raised to the point of uh, uh, water can be drained and then the flex system uh, can lay there. Also, it can be installed in dead areas um, or dead soil areas, also in uh, rooftops because the system is designed in a way that it's installed on the surface. In flex biogas, we have uh, designed domestic systems and also commercial systems. In domestic system, we have uh, sizes uh, to fit every household. We have a, a small digester uh, size being a six meter cubic, which uh, needs just one uh, or 20 kg of waste. And uh, it's ideal for uh, a house with uh, maybe three people. And uh, it will give you um, a, a gas which can cook for two to three hours. We have the next size being a nine meter cubic, which is uh, works better with a home with uh, 
uh, or if you can manage to get 40 kg of waste in a day. And it's ideal for a house of up to six people. And then we have our big commercial, our big uh, domestic system being a 12 meter cubic, uh, which is ideal for a farm with uh, three or four cows, uh, 60 to 80 kg of waste. And uh, it's good for a house with uh, over six people, that's maybe um, 10 people. You heard it from Sam. He's explained and now we want to do a demo. We want to walk through all that he has said until now you get to the biogas. And remember, it's flexi biogas. Yes. So here, uh -huh. tukona nini Sam? Hapa tukona market waste. Market waste. Hindi utapata kwa soko. Eh. Imetupwa. Imetupwa. Chakula lakini kimetu? Kimetupwa. Yes. So all this can be used to feed your biodigester. Exactly. Okay. Yes. And then we move forward. So that is one. Now here, mm -hmm. uh, we have weeds. Weeds. Yeah. Oh, yeah. These are invasive weeds from the shamba. Invasive weeds. In Kikuyu, mm -hmm. uh, they call these one mukengeria. So this fence, you make cut aqua fence. Ah. And okay slash fence yako, mm -hmm. hondoa hi miti. Mm -hmm. Here, mm -hmm. focus on the leaf parts. The leaf. Yes. Okay. okay. Just take it, mm -hmm. then chop. Una mm -hmm. na mikono, mm -hmm. ikuwe into small particles. Ini kama ku great una great. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, ukisha maliza, mm -hmm. just you will have a solution like kitu kama hi. Then you mix it with water. Hii, sasa changanya na maji. Mm. Or kama ukona any uh, other waste ambao ukona yo changanya yote. Okay. Yes. So you can mix uh, the market waste, yeah. the kitchen waste, and the weeds. That's what we're going to do today. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Fine, fine, fine. And can we use grass? Yes. Anything that is uh, green, biodegradable. Uh, fresh, mm. and biodegradable. Okay. Hapa na po, sasa ndiyo kwenye wengi wanaelewa. Sasa, these now, ile kitu wengi wanajua. Mm. Yes, cow dung. Mm. Now, there is a secret I want to tell you. Tell us, tell us. Kilimo focus. Mm -hmm. This is Mr. Biogas. Mm -hmm. Many people believe that cow dung mm. is the best food for biogas. Okay. But let me tell you, mm -hmm. market waste, mm -hmm. weeds from the shamba, mm -hmm. they'll give you times five. Times five? Yes. You don't say. It works magic. Okay. Into, if you want to try, you have a flex biogas system, mm -hmm. take weeds from the shamba. Weeds take from the food shamba. waste. Mm -hmm. Take market waste. Mm -hmm. Uh, coffee pulp from coffee pulp. Uh, yes yeah so people with coffee farms can also install this for cooking energy exactly because a lot of coffee waste goes coffee pulp goes yeah. to waste goes to waste that's yeah. true so take take those then add to the little of the cow dug that you have okay. or put it mm -hmm. add just add water mm -hmm. and put it in your digester mm -hmm. like today here we have a cow dug mm -hmm. uh, solution mm -hmm. then we are going to have our we to hard weeds mm -hmm. Yeah, these are our chopped weeds. Oh, you so can... we are mixing them? Yeah, we can mix. Yeah. Mm. So weeds, yeah. These so consumable... So we are mixing all this waste yeah. and feeding it to the biodigester. Exactly. Okay. The, the thing, you have to chop your weeds. Oh, you have to chop it into exactly. small pieces. To, yes, to this size. Okay. It's just it's a stage of digesting. We have digested them actually. Okay. Yeah, okay. that's the first stage. Nice. Uh, the big advantage is that the first stage of digestion will happen on your digester. Okay. So you will have huge volumes. A question I have. Yeah. So once we feed this to our, our biodigester, uh -huh. how long till we have gas? Like for example today, mm -hmm. we feed this one bucket. Mm -hmm. This is going to work tomorrow. Okay. We have the digester's food, mm -hmm. the previous food we work mm. for today. So if it is new, if mm -hmm. I'm installing, yeah. if I feed it today, okay. I'll use the gas from tomorrow. Oh, I see. That's now, what I'm if the digester is new, uh -huh. you'll feed the digester with pure, pure cow dung. Okay, even if it's flexi biogas. Even if it's flex biogas. Okay. Remember, mm -hmm. we don't use bacteria to activate the system. Mm. We use normal and natural bacteria, okay. which uh, we get them from cow dung. Okay, let's yeah. go back there. Mm -hmm. You said if I have a new installation, yes, I have to first feed it with cow dung. Pure cow for dung. For how many days? Just until it's full. Until it's full to capacity. Uh, that's only 500 kg. So 500 kgs of, of this cow dung. mixture. Of cow dung, pure. Cow dung Mixed and water. water. Yeah. 500 kgs. Yes. Okay. okay. Then when you feed it, just wait for seven days. 
seven days. Your digestor itakuwa na kuonyesha iko na gas. Okay. And then after the seven days after that's the seven when day, I can start using. Now you stay for another week without feeding. Okay. Ulikuwa umeweka kaudag mingi. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo sasa utakaa for another week bila kuweka kitu unatumia gas tu. Mpaka iishe. Mpaka ianze kupungua pungua. Okay. After okay. now you start your waste of you've mm -hmm. mixed your solution. Mm -hmm. The next part now will be going uh, or feeding your digester. Feeding your digester, mostly we prefer it to happen uh, in the morning. In the morning. Yeah, that is the, the best time uh, mm -hmm. for feeding. Mm -hmm. When you feed right in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, you, you should avoid the big solid particles from going in the digester to avoid blockage. Mm -hmm. So this, that one bucket is actually enough. Oh, one bucket? Yeah. These, 20, these are 20 liter buckets. Yeah. You see. Okay. So when you feed now the two buckets, mm -hmm. that means tomorrow mm -hmm. is a no or it's not a good day to feed. Okay. So, so explain to us what we are looking at here. This is the feeder. Yes, we see it. Yeah. But we see a structure, but we don't understand. Okay. What is inside? Ah, oh, thank you. So what happens, huh? This is now a uh, component. Mm -hmm. This is the greenhouse. Is uh, uh, just a what we are going to Funikia. This is our rooftop. Even if we go to Okay. So this is part of the package. And then, ukiangalia uh, hapa mm -hmm. you will see the digester from far. It's actually uh, fabricated. This this is now the gas. This is now the digester. Yeah. How it's stol it's stolen. Now this is the gas. So now, uh -huh. uh, this is now the flex digester, you can yeah. see. So now it has uh, waste in it, mm -hmm. and now it has gas. Oh, it's full of gas, eh? Now this is gas. Okay. So what we go and Uliza, uh, the waste, do you need to agitate it this oh, way? Oh, yeah, to, okay. Yeah, or mix the salary inside. Mm -hmm. No, you don't need to do it. Mm. Because I said uh, the system does something we call true cross for fermentation. Mm. With the help now of the greenhouse, mm -hmm. the greenhouse will increase the temperature. Mm -hmm. and during the time, you will find that there's the waste in it is almost boiling mm -hmm. because of the temperatures. Mm -hmm. And that's why you find now the final solution is 100% water. Mm -hmm. So you don't need to agitate the system. Mm -hmm. The system will remain that way. Then uh, what Wengine will use, how safe is the system? This is now what I show you. You see, it's full of gas, of course, I'm stepping on here. You cannot damage the system. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very strong. Okay. You cannot damage it. So this is where the cooking happens? This is where the gas is formed. Okay. Then from there, we have now my pipe mm -hmm. to take gas now to my cooking point. To your cooking point. Yes. Or oh, when I said cooking, I meant the cooking of the gas. Oh, I see. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the gas is cooked inside here. Yeah. These are six meter cubic. Of course, it has a length of six meters. Six meters. Yes. And of course, yeah, it's uh, one and a half. Mm -hmm. But from plus the digester to be two mm -hmm. meters. Two meters. Yes. So this is... This is good now for, let's say, a family of three or four. Mm -hmm. That's doing cooking, uh, more more breakfast, no more lunch, mm -hmm. and of course, no more supper. And the gas that we get can burn up to... Depending on consumption, of course, uh -huh. but what is the range? Uh, this will, give, will burn for two to three hours. Two to three hours. Yes, on daily basis. On daily basis. So every day you'll be sure that you have two to three hours of cooking, cooking. gas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if I want now the showers that you are talking about, the, the school, uh, because it's a commercial system, mm -hmm. is it still these bugs that are used? Uh, for the commercial system, we use a different technology, okay. but of course, we'll see, you'll have now the fabrication. Oh, the fabrication. Yes. Okay, fine. Yeah. So the bigger the household, the bigger the bug. And also the more, the more waste will be needed. Oh, the more. Oh, so from one bucket to two buckets. Yes, exactly. To three buckets. Yeah. Thank you very much. Unique feature. Mm -hmm. My piping is also done on the surface. Mm -hmm. We don't advise the pipes going underground. Mm -hmm. One, I believe it's beautiful, and again, you can also see how your asset is. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, we don't use the sapphirizers here. The gas is passed through water. Here, I have my water trap. Oh, okay. So to those who have now the flex biogas, mm -hmm. they should always make sure that 
this uh, bottle is full of water. Okay. So the gas will pass through water, uh -huh. then the sulfur will be left there. Oh. Of course, water vapor and condensation will drop back down mm. to the water trap. So the water purifies the gas. Exactly. To make sure you get pure methane gas for your cooking. And again, we are using natural process. Natural process. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the outlet. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'll say the unique thing with the flex biogas is you'll get more of water, which water. will appear gray. So of this course, is like liquid fertilizer. Yes. It will have uh, some few solid particles, mm -hmm. but 90% uh, of it will be mm. pure, pure water. Okay. Yes. And then now, this water is full of nutrients. Nutrients. Yeah. This is full of yeah. nutrients. Mm -hmm. This is now what we use in our farm mm -hmm. uh, to do farming. Okay. We do a complete organic farming. Okay. So it's an end-to-end -end solution. It's an end-to-end -end solution. Uh, this is now how the piping goes into your house. Uh, we have um, the, the first valve here, and then we have our smart uh, flow meter on this end. This can tell you how much gas that you are using um, just on your phone. It's an electro electronic device. And then from there, the pipe uh, comes direct. If your digester is at very far point, let's say 50 meters, 60 meters, you might need a booster pump like this one. If it's close to 20 meters, you don't need to have the booster pump. This is just when the digester is far. Uh, it, it's a 20k... Uh, K, what do you call it? <laughs> kilowatts. Kilowatts, yeah, it's uh, 20 kilowatts, of course. Uh, and also can run on, on solar. So uh, after that, now the pipe, the gas drops down now to your, to your table cooker. This is now where cooking is done. This is where uh, biogas burns. Very so this nice. is now your flame. You can cook uh, tea, you can cook dairy. It, normally, biogas is very hot. Mm. Uh, than LPG. Oh, it's hotter than LPG. Uh, yeah, exactly. You can see the flame is uh, it's a big flame and a blue flame. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are there any safety concerns mm -hmm. with the the piping and the domestic? So biogas is very safe and it cannot explode or cause uh, a loss in your house. For example, let's say your gas is leaking. Maybe baby or someone has left uh, the gas leaking. Of course, the biogas is coming out. Once it comes to a level of somewhere six or eight inch, it will disappear into other gases. And uh, once any, if there is a spark somewhere like here, the gas doesn't, cannot burn. Here, it can't. Here, it can't. Even at sides, it can't. Unlike LPGs, you see, it can't burn up to here. But when I drop my light to somewhere here, you see, just detected and it, it's now lighting. So up to the uh, height of somewhere six inch, that's where now the gas can burn. So again, it's not exploding. So it will just uh, burn uh, in the normal way. In this in Flex Biogas, and you want to talk uh, to us, go to our website, www.biogas.co.ke, Flex Biogas at Facebook, Flex Biogas at TikTok. And you can also reach to me direct, Mr. Biogas TikTok, uh, or call me direct on 0704-758623. See you on TikTok. Well, there you have it, guys. This has been a very educative moment for us. We are so glad we came to Karatina and we met Mr. Biogas yes. from Flexi Biogas. And we got to teach you and to let you in on Flexi Biogas system and how different it is from the dome system that we had earlier showcased today we want to sign out and say reach out to flexi biogas for all your flexi biogas installations yes and reach out to mr biogas on tiktok because that is where we found him yeah thanks to you guys taking our video viral and we also hope this one will go viral this is kilimo focus where we focus on agriculture signing out i am zola madaga I'm Mr. Biogas, the organic farmer. Bye-bye.